Asia is a continent full of history and intrigue. Let's face it, this ancient landmass is home to many mysteries that we might never solve. From ancient creatures that once roamed with dinosaurs to mysterious stones that defy the laws of gravity. These are the 20 shocking things recently discovered in Asia. Tadpole shrimp discovered in China. In the city of Liang Yungang, East China, a guy discovered a unique shrimp in a pond. Not your typical seafood though. This little creature boasts three eyes, making it pretty extraordinary. While taking photos, he stumbled upon these ancient creatures that have been around for over 200 million years. Yep, 200 million years. That means these incredible critters would have been hanging out with the dinosaurs. Now that's seriously ancient. These shrimp are like the literal OGs of pond life. They only live for about 90 days, requiring optimal water quality and temperature in order to survive. Yep, these tree ops are living their best shrimp lives. But that's not all. These shrimp are survivors, with eggs acting as time capsules, capable of dormancy for over 20 years. These little fellas are basically the time lords of the pond. Fasten your seatbelts, because it's time for today's sweet topic. And now it's time for our sweet topic. What they discovered in Asia terrifies the whole world. This creepy cryptid was captured by villagers, and animal experts have no idea what it could be. This long-limbed critter crawled out of the jungle, much to the horror of the locals. Could it be a giant spider that's been hiding in the forest? Or the skeleton of a mysterious jungle creature? What do you guys think? Use the hashtag sweet topic in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Iron Pillar of Delhi Check out this mysterious structure. How is it possible that a 1,600-year-old metal pillar has never rusted? Well, that's exactly what scientists are trying to figure out. The Iron Pillar of Delhi can be dated back to the year 375 AD, but miraculously it looks as new as the day it was built. Rumor has it that this mysterious ancient pillar was built with such pure iron that it would never rust. But experts aren't exactly sure how blacksmiths thousands of years ago achieved this without the use of advanced modern technology. Conspiracy theorists have declared the Iron Pillar of Delhi to be an out-of-place artifact due to the fact that it doesn't just seem to belong to the time period in which it was created. Yep, they reckon that this pillar was actually created by an ancient civilization with technology well ahead of its time. Curious indeed. Snail milking in Thailand. You'll never guess what the latest beauty craze in Thailand is. It's not your usual moisturizer and makeup. We're talking about snails, folks. These slimy creatures, once seen as the bane of Thai farmers' existence, are now cashing in on the global beauty craze. Yep, it's time for snail slime to shine. In a plot twist that even the snails didn't see coming, their secretions have become the holy grail in the cosmetic world. Believe it or not, people are actually clamoring for snail goo to ward off aging and wrinkles. In fact, in Thailand, there are more than 80 snail farms in just one province. These farmers have turned from snail killers to snail milkers, all thanks to the booming demand for their slimy goo. Blech. The global slime industry is estimated to be worth a whopping $314 million. That's a lot of money for something that used to gross everyone out, right? Now, let's get into the nitty gritty of snail milking. Don't worry, it's all humane. No snails are harmed in the making of this beauty elixir. The process involves showering these little guys with water to encourage them to release their precious slime, aka mucin. Not only that, but they're living the good life, fed with veggies and grains to keep that quality top notch. It's like a snail spa retreat, but don't think it's a 24-7 slime marathon. These snails are only getting milked once every three weeks. Gotta keep that quality high, you know? So the next time you're slathering on that snail-infused skincare, remember the real MVPs, the Thai farmers turning snail slime into liquid gold. Hutong Cat Village Ready for a meow day trip from Taipei? Look no further than Hutong Cat Village, the ultimate paradise for cat enthusiasts. Situated in the picturesque Rifong Valley, Hutong Cat Village is not your ordinary town. It's a feline wonderland with dozens of cats and kittens. Once a bustling coal mining town swimming in riches. 
it hit a rough patch. That's when a local cat aficionado decided to turn things around. In 2008, the cat superhero and their band of volunteers stepped up to offer abandoned cats a second shot at a perfect life. Cat lovers from all corners of the nation flooded in, making Hutong the ultimate destination for feline fanatics. Now, Hutong isn't just a village, it's a phenomenon. The number of cats skyrocketed, outnumbering humans and earning the place its well-deserved title, Hutong Cat Village. As you roll into Hutong Station, one of the first things to greet you is a colossal metal footbridge shaped like a cat. Talk about setting the perfect mood for your adventure. It's not your typical tourist spot, that's for sure. It sounds amusing. Krishna's Butterball. We've got a mind-bending mystery that'll rock your world. Enter Krishna's Butterball, the 250-ton enigma in India that's basically defying all the laws of gravity and leaving visitors scratching their heads. It's a colossal 20-foot-high, 5-meter-wide rock, casually chilling on a slippery slope of a hill. Shockingly, its base is less than 4 feet. How on earth does this mammoth boulder manage to stay put? Well, nobody knows for sure. They call it Krishna's Butterball because, you guessed it, butter is supposedly Lord Krishna's go-to snack, and the myth goes that it just falls from the heavens. But the real magic is in how this rock hangs tight on that slope, making you question the very rules of gravity. In fact, it's been standing there for over 1,200 years, unmoved by cyclones, tsunamis, and earthquakes. Now that's seriously impressive. Sahasralinga Get ready for a mystical journey into the heart of Karnataka, where the Shalmala River reveals a hidden treasure in February. Sahasralinga, a sacred haven for Shiva worshippers. As the Shamala River recedes in February, a spectacle unfolds on its bed. A thousand Shivalingas emerge, big and small, scattered across the landscape like a spiritual art installation. Shiva Linga is a sight to behold, with lingas stretching as far as the eye can see. Now that's not something you see every day. In case you didn't know, a linga is not just a stone carving, it's a symbol of devotion to Lord Shiva in Hinduism. The thing is, nobody knows for sure who carved them here, and why there are so many. So if you're up for an adventure that combines spirituality and a touch of mystery, Sahasra Linga is calling your name. There's nowhere else quite like this place, Crazy Java Chicken Church. On the island of Java, there's a unique structure that's not clucking around. It's called the Chicken Church. Now this abandoned wonder wasn't initially intended to resemble a chicken. In 1988, Daniel Alamsma had a divine light bulb moment, a dream that urged him to create a prayer house for all religions. But his vision wasn't just any old building, it was a giant dove perched on top of a mountain. Fast forward to 1992 and the construction of this avian-inspired masterpiece began. However, by 2000, the project came to a halt due to a lack of funds. For 15 years, the unfinished chicken church was totally forgotten about. But here's where our tale takes a turn. Word spread among visitors to the colossal Boro Badur the world's largest Buddhist temple about this quirky, gratified structure just a short journey away. The Chicken Church. Ironically, the abandonment of the project turned out to be the secret to its success. Curious travelers looking for a creepy adventure flocked to witness this architectural oddity. So, if you find yourself on the island of Java, don't be a chicken. Venture to the Chicken Church. Geese Police in China. We've all seen police dogs and police horses, but what about a police goose? Yep, cops in China have employed a particularly bizarre bird in their efforts to combat crime. A whole gaggle of geese have been deployed in Xinjiang's Shawan County, and the chief of police has claimed that geese are known to be extremely vigilant and have excellent hearing. Adding, geese are very brave. What's more amazing is that they've already busted a crime, managing to apprehend a crook who was trying to break into the headquarters to steal a motorbike. According to the history books, this isn't even the first time that geese have been used for protection. In ancient Rome, geese fought alongside soldiers against an invasion in 390 BC, and apparently the US military even hired 900 geese to guard military installations in Germany back in the 1980s. Well, if you've ever come face to face with an angry goose, then you'll know how scary they can be. It makes sense that this bird would end up with a career in law enforcement. Abandoned UFO Houses of Taiwan 
This abandoned city was originally planned as a resort for the super rich. However, construction of this weird and futuristic UFO city seemed to be cursed from the very beginning. In 1978, property developers undertook the ambitious project with hopes of capitalizing on wealthy U.S. military officers that were posted in East Asia. However, the expensive Pod City would never be finished. Problems started arising after the destruction of a huge ceremonial dragon that blocked the roads into the site. This was considered to be very bad luck and a series of unfortunate events began to plague the city's construction. Pretty creepy if you ask us. Car crashes and mysterious deaths led to rumors of hauntings, and the remains of 20,000 skeletal remains were rumored to have been uncovered at the Pod City, assumed to be an old 17th century Dutch cemetery. By 1980, the property developers were declared bankrupt, and the site became an abandoned ghost town, with urban explorers flocking from all across the world. That is one creepy city. Komodo National Park Dragons are real. Well, Komodo dragons, that is. Yes, the Komodo dragon lives on, you guessed it, Komodo Island. And they are actually the largest living lizards in the world. They can grow up to 9 feet long and weigh 200 pounds and have been nicknamed the Aura by locals, which means land crocodile. These Indonesian beasts are known for being incredibly aggressive and bloodthirsty and can take down creatures much larger than themselves, such as buffalo. In fact, they can actually consume 80% of their own body weight in one go. Yikes. Their forked tongues sense prey in the air around them, and they can run extremely fast in order to catch their victims. They bite down on their prey, inserting a deadly poison that slowly kills the animal. So even if their meal manages to wriggle away, the Komodo dragon will catch up with them eventually. Now that's terrifying. We've got a feeling that Komodo Island might not be the best place to visit on vacation. Hanoi Train Street Step into the thrilling world of Hanoi's Train Street, Vietnam's most infamous and oddly famous thoroughfare. This unique street is a narrow hidden gem tucked away in the back streets of Hanoi, surrounded by tightly packed towering houses. It's not your typical tourist spot, it's Train Street where families' backyards double as railways and the train at Daily Visitor zooms past just a hair's breadth from the houses. Yep, the safety line marked in bright yellow is a mere 20 centimeters away from these homes. Thrill-seeking tourists in search of an adrenaline rush and Instagram-worthy shots used to flock here for a unique photo op. But in October 2019, the authorities slammed the brakes on this risky tourist spot by banning visitors. Yep, safety concerns had reached an all-time high, prompting the ban on tourists. But for those who had the chance to sip coffee on the sidewalk and snap stunning pictures, Train Street remains etched in their memories as Hanoi's most daring and strangely famous street. Kosik the Talking Elephant There's an Indian elephant in South Korea that's breaking language barriers. Meet Kosik, the linguistic sensation of the animal kingdom. Kosik's not your average elephant, he's talking in Korean. Using his trunk like a mouth, Koshik has mastered five words. Hello, sit down, no, lie down, and good. Pretty impressive, right? Now, before you start planning a cross-species language exchange, keep in mind that it's not clear if Koshnik really understands the meaning behind these words. It's more of a copycat situation than a deep conversation. However, the zookeepers at Koshik's residence in South Korea are crossing their fingers, hoping he becomes as popular as K-pop sensation Psy from Seoul. Move over Gangnam Style, it's time for the elephant extravaganza. Why does he do it? Well, Koshik spent about five years as the only elephant in Everland Zoo, surrounded by humans. Some scientists think his unique vocal adaptation might be his way of strengthening social ties in the absence of other elephant companions. Scientists are sharing their excitement too, as Koshik's linguistic skills could unlock secrets about the biology and evolution of vocal learning. The Living Bridge Welcome to the incredible world of living root bridges, Mother Nature's own engineering marvels. Nestled in northeastern part of India, these aren't your average bridges. Oh no, they're crafted by the skilled hands of the Kasi and the Jaintia people, weaving through the rugged landscape of the Shillong Plateau. But what sets them apart? The main building material is the living roots of a rubber fig tree. Roots are meticulously trained to form suspension bridges, proudly standing up to 3,772 feet above sea level. These root bridges aren't just for show. 
They're functional masterpieces, as long as the host tree stays healthy. The roots continue to grow and strengthen, supporting the bridge. Some of these natural structures can even accommodate over 50 people at once. Talk about a green highway. In fact, these living root bridges can endure for centuries. We don't know about you, but we think everyone should start planning their own living bridges. They're awesome. World's Highest ATM This treacherous mountain pass is located on the northern border of Pakistan and China and is notorious for being the highest border crossing in the whole world. Oh, and you could even say you've drawn out cash from the highest ATM in the world too. Yep, the Kunjarab Pass is a whopping 15,528 feet above sea level. And during the winter season, it is completely covered in thick, impassable snow, making it nearly impossible to cross the border. Let's just say you'd only use this ATM if you were really strapped for cash. Not only is it typically shut between November 30th and May 1st, but traveling here is a struggle for the rest of the year too. That's because its sheer height causes altitude sickness, extreme weather conditions, and the steep roads are a nightmare to navigate. Despite its obvious setbacks, we bet a trip to this crazy ATM is a pretty awesome adventure. Would you go there? Be sure to let us know in the comments below. Bamboo Train We're about to explore the quirky side of Cambodia, the notorious bamboo train in Badambang. Now, Badambang might not be the first name on every traveler's lips in Cambodia, but those in the know are well aware of this unique experience. Head to the outskirts of town and you'll discover the bamboo train, also known as Nori. What's the deal with this bamboo train, you ask? Well, it's essentially a bamboo flatbed on wheels, powered by a pine-sized powerhouse. A small motorcycle or tractor engine, the rail line reaches all the way down to the capital, Phnom Penh. However, there's one problem. The tracks are in complete abandon and disrepair. So the bamboo ride, while it could technically go the distance, chooses to keep things short and sweet. The journey spans a mere 7 kilometers, taking you to a nearby village and back. It's a bumpy, bamboo-fueled adventure that has become a hidden gem for those who are brave enough to venture off the beaten path in Cambodia. The Purple Island Welcome to the enchanting world of the Purple Island, also known as Bon Waldo Island, where everything, and we mean everything, is painted a delightful shade of purple. Located off the southern coast of South Korea, this small fishing community has become a must-visit destination for tourists seeking a vibrant and colorful experience. But it's not just about the aesthetics. The Purple Island boasts a historic village with a rich history spanning over 1,000 years. Now, what makes this place truly stand out is its commitment to the purple theme. The bluebells, kohlrabis, and lamasse, which are grown on the island, are all a vivid purple color. In 2015, a magical transformation took place, where public and private efforts joined forces to turn Bonwal and Bakji Island into a land totally dedicated to all the shades of purple. The merger of the two islands gave birth to the Purple Island, marking the beginning of a purple era. Yep, there's a purple bridge connecting the islands. Asta, chrysanthemums everywhere, magnolia lily is blooming, and a lavender garden, all adding to the purpleness of them all. Not only that, but the residents' houses are painted in. You guessed it, purple. Thanks to these efforts, Purple Island is a visual spectacle, in full bloom throughout the year. It's a purple paradise that attracted a staggering 200,000 tourists between August 2020 and July 2021. After all, who can resist a totally purple island? Not me. Giant Hand Bridge Ah, the iconic Golden Bridge, a surreal masterpiece that has graced the screens of Instagrammers and travel enthusiasts alike. But what's the story behind this majestic structure in Vietnam? Constructed in 2018, the Golden Bridge is no ordinary pedestrian pathway. It's the jewel in the crown of a Disney-style theme park known as Ba Na Hills. These giant stone hands that seem to cradle the bridge are not just for show, they actually symbolize the hands of God, pulling gold from the resource-rich area. There's no doubt about it, it's a visual spectacle. The Golden Bridge and the entire Bana Hills extravaganza are part of a colossal $2 billion project aimed at accommodating and captivating tourists in the area. Well, we've got to say, it's money well spent. This insane bridge really stands out, and there's nowhere else in the world quite like it. Bali Abandoned Theme Park Welcome to a once promising theme park in Bali, Indonesia, called Temen Festival. It was almost ready to open but faced financial troubles, leading to its abandonment. 
Instead of cleaning up, the owners left it, allowing nature to take over. Now it's a surreal and spooky place with decaying statues, graffiti-covered buildings, and creepy creatures. Pretty spooky, eh? Locals avoid it not only because of the eerie atmosphere, but also due to rumors of ghosts roaming the park. Adding to the spookiness, it's said that man-eating crocodiles originally part of the park were left behind when it was closed. The result? A super creepy theme park with frozen-in-time movie theaters, fake volcanoes, and mysterious buildings overtaken by vines. Yep, Taman Festival is a place where time seems to have stopped, leaving behind the ruins of a theme park that never fully came to life. Would you dare to venture here? Steps of Hampi Step into the ancient city of Hampi in Karnataka, India, where the captivating ruins of a once grand empire have become a huge tourist attraction. The city once buzzed with over 250,000 people and was home to stunning Hindu temples. Today, Hampi is filled with scattered ruins, each hiding unique architectural wonders. One incredible feature of Hampi's ruins is the Pushkarans, ancient water tanks that add a mystical touch to the city. Like many Hindu temples in India, these impressive structures include stepped tanks or basins used for religious purposes. Even though they're far from the Ganges, the water in these Pushkarans is considered sacred, connected to Hinduism's famous river. The Pushkarans share a similar design with symmetrical rectangles or squares. Each tank has multiple large tiers and steps. And some, like those at the Patabhirama temple, are surrounded by pillars, adding to the grandeur and sacred feeling. Yep, this place is totally jaw-dropping. Plain of Jars These strange and mysterious jars found on the Xiang Kuang Plain in Laos have been baffling archaeologists for centuries, believed to have been used anywhere between 1500 and 2000 years ago. These ominous jars range from 3 to 10 feet in height each one weighing up to 14 tons. So, what were these bizarre vessels used for? Well, experts don't really know. There are theories that these sedimentary rock jars may have been used to store rice wine, drinking water, or even human remains. Similar stone jars have been found along a path leading all the way to northern India, leading some archaeologists to believe that the mystery jars might have once been part of an epic trade route across Asia. Yep, these crumbling ancient jars are fascinating, but they also hold a dark secret. This area is one of the most dangerous archaeological sites in the world, due to thousands of unexploded bombs in the area, left behind after the war. Whatever mysterious things these unexplained stone chalices hold, it looks like we aren't any closer to figuring out who made them, or even what they were used for.